Good morning again, um, because to my Facebook people, you are seeing this for the second time because my first Facebook Live just kaputted on me. And I was just telling everybody good morning and that I had something different planned for this morning's live teaching, but I'm changing it up. And it has a lot to do with how I woke up this morning. Um, and maybe you can relate and that's why I'm sharing. So this morning I woke up and I feel like my eyes popped open and my mind was racing. Like I was just thinking about all of the things that I needed to get done. This is a particularly heavy week for me in my business, not because of business tasks, but because of personal tasks. I have dentist appointments and I'm teaching in my youth group and it's going to be a really big deal. And I want to um, prepare a very large illustration and I'm connecting with people um, from my community and holding space in the middle of my work week, right? And so I think that um, when we start to feel stretched and my mind was humming, my heart was even racing. And I was like, I just need to not sit down at my desk first thing. I need to go on that walk, right? I need to go walk. I need to go clear my head. I need to slow down. I need to remind myself of the truth, right? So I took my mindset practice on the road this morning on my walk. And I realized that maybe some of us are starting to feel that way too, because it's October. Happy October to you all. Um, and we're probably thinking about quarter four if we're in business or just the fact that the holidays are coming and how our schedules are starting to look. My husband said to me the other day, you know, we need to start having those conversations with family about where we're doing the holidays. And I said, yes, you're right. Like we need to start thinking about that and planning around those things. And so I realized that I have room to practice something that I already teach. And um, so I'm basically preaching to the choir this morning. I did what I'm inviting you to do today, but that is to do three things. One is to consider what is the one thing I can do to make my day easier or to make whatever tasks are on my list unnecessary, right? How can I simplify things right now for me personally? And maybe that looks like after we get the little ones on the bus, taking an extra five minutes to just be present and enjoy your coffee or your tea, right? Like slow your roll, like slow your mind down a little bit. Maybe that's the one thing you need to do to like get your feet back on the ground this morning. For me, it was like, I need to go take that walk. That's one thing that will help me right now to calm down and remind myself that there is more than enough time in the day for me to get done everything I need to get done. And there is grace for the things that I'm not able to get done, right? There's enough grace in the day for me to get done the things that need to get done. And so um, I realized that there's room for me to step back and focus on one thing at a time. Two, um, consider what is one thing that you can do right now, today in your business, um, to move it forward. And I was just having a conversation with a previous client of mine, uh, I think it was yesterday, or maybe it was last week, about how when we just take one action, one action, it can result in such fruitful and profitable results. And so he was inviting one of his coaching clients to just take one action, one action step to drive the ball down the, down the court, right? And this this coaching client of his picked up the phone, made one call, resulted in five clients, right? And so it was a really cool reminder that if, if we can just do one thing at a time, maybe it's one comment, maybe it's posting in one Facebook group, maybe it is doing one Instagram live video, maybe it's one literal like phone call to somebody, a follow-up, right? Somebody said, um, I don't have time to talk right now, or maybe right now it's not a great time, a couple weeks later, give them a call and see how they're doing. And it doesn't have to be a weird or icky thing. It doesn't even have to be led with business, right? It can just be a very human interaction that isn't necessarily selling, right? It can just be being present and being real with the people that we want to serve and support. And so what is one thing, and I wanna hear from you guys today, if you're on Instagram, drop this um, in the comment section. I would love to know what is one thing you either feel like you can do right now or today in your, in your personal world, right, to make things easier and or unnecessary on your task list or in your business? What's one thing you can commit to doing today that will make everything else easier 
or make the things on your task list unnecessary. Maybe it looks like hiring that VA that you've been eyeballing, right? Hiring her and making a lot of those tasks on your list like disappear for, I don't know, $15 an hour, $20 an hour, $30 an hour, whatever level of VA that you need. And so the third thing that I would encourage you to do is to, um, since it's the beginning of quarter four, is to take a minute and review your Q4 goals and review your Q4 affirmations and declarations for your mindset, right? I have mine, if you can't see it, I'm gonna shift my camera over here, right there by my door and here I'll do it on this computer too, right there. Uh, right beside my door, I have a list of mindset beliefs and declarations and affirmations to remind me of things like, Brittany, all of your beliefs are your choice and your responsibility to choose every day. So I'm going to choose to believe that there's enough time for me to get everything done that I need to get done, right? And take care of myself and be a human being like in the process, right? There's, there's space and grace for that all to happen. Um, and so I realized that like sometimes um, Q, every, the beginning of every quarter is a good time to kind of pause for like five minutes and say, do I need to reword any things? Are any of these still relevant? Um, take them out. Is there room for me to revisit the routines and systems um, in my mindset practice or in my morning or nighttime routines to help facilitate my mindset practice if I haven't been consistent with it, right? And so mindset reset is the invitation that I wanna make to you guys today. Um, I created a little mindset five-day challenge a while back, and it's still available. It's called Renew, because I think it's really important to hold space to renew our minds and make sure that we are still aligned with our intentions and our focus to make sure that we end up where we want to be, because we can drive and drive and drive and drive and end up someplace we never intended to be. And it's just as chaotic. It's not as profitable. And we're sitting here looking around and saying, how did I get here? Because we just had our heads down and we were just running, 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 running. Does that make sense, guys? Jamie is saying, for me, it's pausing to quietly read and pray. Oh man, yes, that too. That is such a good one for me um, to just be quiet and to pray and to get centered on what I know to be true. Um, that is a really, really good one. Thank you for sharing that. Um, we've had a couple other people join us on Instagram. Um, yes, and Gail says, totally makes sense, right? And so I think that we have to remind ourselves that this is part of business. This is necessary. Taking care of our whole selves, including our mind, is going to make the tasks on our to-do list either overwhelm us and our heart's gonna be racing, we're gonna be skipping lunch. There was a season where I would, like, I would skip a shower just because I was like, I gotta go at this super hard, right? Super embarrassing, very transparent, right? Um, but like, I just want you guys to understand it's okay to take a deep breath, go on a quick walk, do what you need to do to get your mindset right in the back, back in the right space. Because when we come from a place of desperation, of scarcity, it doesn't matter how nice our copy is, something icky still comes through. And that's why we're not getting the clients that we know need our support, right? We know that they, they are a great fit for us and they're not buying, they're not moving forward because we're coming from this icky mindset, desperate place of urgency. And we have permission to take a breath and lean back. So that's all I have for you guys this morning. I hope it encouraged you. Hopefully someone tuned in and they needed to hear that this morning. I know I needed to remind myself of that this morning. So if you are needing support with your mindset, Check out the free five-day challenge. It's called Renew. Um, I'm thinking about going back through it myself this week because things are just so heavy and intense. And it's a great time to do it because it's the beginning of quarter four. And so um, be sure to check that out. It is dropped in my Facebook group. Um, it is not going to be in my Instagram link and bio. So, But the Facebook group link is if you're on Instagram. So join the group if you're on Instagram and the link is in there. It's going to be at the very top of the group. Go ahead and join that if you're wanting to do mindset stuff. So glad that this was encouraging to you, Jamie. And um, I will catch you guys next week in the next video. Bye, guys.